in Alice Springs. We are pretty much just stocking up Pepper. Pretty much just stocking up on vegetables and just odds and ends. And we have Miss Hazel's dentist appointment. So back at Uluru, she knocked a tooth out and chipped to the other and we've got a, quite a few loose ones at the bottom there. Um, hey, we did that at the sunset viewing. Um, so we didn't get to see the sunset. We ended up being in a emergency department because she fell over or something and she hit her mouth on the wire. So I'm gonna be doing that for the next day. We'll see what the results are. Should be all fine though, we think. But yeah, we made it. Yep, Finally yep. at Alice Springs and then from here it's warm weather. Woohoo! Yeah, so we stayed at a free camp last night just next to the highway. Yep, um, I'll put the details in here for you just so you know. Yeah, but 80 k's to the south of Alice it was, I think. So yeah. we're in Alice tonight and then we're probably back out again tomorrow. Yeah, all right, let's oh, check it out. Let's check it out. All right, so we're just here at uh, the BP on our way out of Alice. So, try and get a bit better light. So we're just at the BP at Alice here. Crystal's doing the tanks at the moment. Uh, we've just filled the ute up. We've got to fill all the van up too. So we're running low on water. But at the BP on the way out of town, there is a tap here and it is portable water. We went in and checked with them before we started. So we're running that. Stocked up full of groceries. Ute's full of fuel. And we're ready to head north again. Crystal's got her Akuba on, keeping out of the sun. Yeah, it's hot here. Yep. So I've got the job of holding the taps because it's one of those... Spring taps. Spring taps. So we've got one more stop, Bunnings on the way out. Yeah. Get some silicon spray for the toilet. Yeah. We're not spending much time in Alice this time, we're just passing through. We wanted to stay at the showgrounds or whatever it is, it's like a showground, but... They've got their show here this weekend. Yeah, the show got delayed a week because of the rain, I think. So we can't stay there and we're not paying uh, 70 odd dollars I think it is for our members to stay at any of the caravan parks in town so we're just going to breeze through and stay at one of the free camps on the way out next time yep next time we'll explore Alice when we can stay there I think yeah cool cool how good is this for a free camp so we're what, half an hour to the north of Alice Springs uh, it's called Burt's Camp, Bert's camp. Um, there's no signage, it's just a road off to the left. When we were here last night, there was about five other campers too. Great little spot, we'll pop some drone footage in and show you what it's like, but a little bit of highway noise. We did hear a train go past last night, but still a beautiful, nice, quiet night. Can have fires, there's plenty of firewood around here too. Um, but apparently the trees can give you an infection, so be mindful of that. I read that on Wiki Camps, apparently the type of tree here. So if you didn't go collecting wood, just be careful. The kids are absolutely loving being able to run around, all this free space, so. Yeah, if you're in the Alice area and you can't get a spot in Alice like we couldn't, make sure you just pop in here and stay out of town. It's only about a half hour drive back in too, so not too far. Park break light has been playing up the last couple of days and it finally just gave me the shits and stopped working. So I pulled it off and there's a screw on the back side here and it had vibrated out and the brown thing had fallen to the ground. So that's the switch for the park brake light, so that's why. Amazing. Fixed and uh, off we'll go. just finished editing um, this week's video and in the meantime Miles was cooking dinner so we've got a load of potatoes. They look Please and smell really pee. good. Hey, you need to pee? Yeah. Oh quick run! Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> How are they? Well, I took the raw <gasps> ones. Oh, do you not live long enough? Uh, a couple are a bit raw. <laughs> this but is why I cook. <laughs> just got this astronomy app just yeah, to show the kids what the bright star is that we can see yes, it and is. yeah it's not a star we knew it was a planet but we couldn't decide which planet so I'm not sure if you can see on the app so we're just looking at it now and it is Venus and Mars so that's probably why it's so bright up there there we go and with the app you know you can follow the GPS tracker and we know that Saturn will be next and then tonight you've got the moon and Neptune together. So, yeah, come on, we're going for a show. Yeah. Something pretty cool. So how good is this spot? Barrow Creek, a World War II um, ruins area. It's a free camp, pet friendly, uh, grey water going on the ground, there is cows wandering around, plenty of fire pits. Um, and yeah, it's right near a creek as well. The creek's obviously dry, but... Yeah. We'll put some footage in, but it's just a sandy bed, which the kids can go playing, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely cracking spot. If you're heading from uh, Alice up towards Darwin, this is about three and a half hours from Alice. I think we drove. Yeah, yeah about so. three hours or so. So that's our limit with the kids. Uh, so it's a good little spot to pull in and have a rest. Yeah. About a K off the highway, so we didn't hear any trucks or anything really um, no. through the night. Yeah, yeah, beautiful nights and plenty of people pulling in here. Um, yeah, so it's safe. No issues at all. Yeah, it's been um, heaps of vans every night. Yeah, yeah. It's been a lot, so don't feel like you're gonna be alone. The turnoff is hard to see. We'll mm. put in a we'll stop at it and get some video footage. We missed it and had to do a U-turn to come back. Yeah, it seems most people do miss it. Yeah. It's like this tiniest little thin brown sign and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll pop that in now and show you what the turnoff looks like. So you yeah. just gotta be wary. But Wikicams is pretty much spot on where you have to turn in. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool, cool. Cool. All all right. Right. We'll see you in the next one. So as you can see, world's well, smallest sign for when you're traveling at 100 kilometers an hour. But here it is, very small sign. Entryway is quite easy, dirt road the whole way down. Um, it's only about a K. And yeah, there's a cattle grid there just to go over, but all vans will be able to get in there and it's a great spot. Make sure you stop in there and enjoy the night. The stars were beautiful last night. We'll pop in some of our star photos. We're finally getting pretty good at it. But yeah. Cliff Well Holiday Park. It's the UFO capital of Australia, but it looks like it's all just a closed down abandoned. Maybe it's from COVID, it never reopened. We want to have a picture with the aliens. You want to have a picture with the aliens? Yeah. All right. All right, let's hop out. <laughs> Well, the sun's out, but we got a bit of breeze, but at least it's nice. There's a kangaroo I can do. A kangaroo is here, it's a kangaroo. If any wildlife is around. Hey, Kalu Kalu, Devil's Marbles. 
there's any wildlife around, it runs away when we come because Evelyn just doesn't stop talking. Isn't that right, Ev? Yes. Oh, I know, Crystal might need a fly net. There's two flies on her back. Hey, flies. Look, there's one on her arm. So Crystal hasn't quite climatized yet. Long sleeve shirt, long pants, short sleeve shirt, and shorts. Way to go. Finally, some warm weather. No more rain and cold wind. Crystal still freezes at night time though. Cold. It's still quite cool at night, it's a bit fresh. We're just doing the lookout walk uh, and then we might do another walk over near the, the um, parking area. So the dogs can come into the car park. You can walk them in the car park before you go for your walks, but um, they can't come and do the walks. So the dogs are in the van with some lunch and some water had their walk, went to the toilet, and we just got the radio and the fans going for them. And they'll be right. We're only going to be half an hour or so, so not too long. So it's good that you can bring them out and have them in the car park, but. So you can camp here as well, but you've got to buy your park passes before you get here because there's no phone reception here at all. They do have Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi at the little dongle in the park, car park area, but. Look out! Sit down. Cheese! Cheese! It's amazing the way the rocks are sitting. Um, they are starting to break over time. You can see cracks and some have fallen, but it's pretty incredible that these massive boulders are just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere, and it looks like someone stacked them. Where's the next blue arrow, girls? There. Oh, this way. That way. It's cool. I really like it. Crystal always looks so good in green, don't you agree? I want some new clothes. Hey? I want new clothes. You want new clothes? Wow, the whole of Australia, Evelyn. Yep. Oh, there's our current caravan. Alright, we'll just take care. There's no going near the edge. Yep. Evelyn is insisting on giving this baby a piggyback the whole way. Hey, no kisses. <laughs> Wipe it off. Mm. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> we'll just have got to Tennant Creek, so we're going to check out the IGA. The hopefully point. it's open. Yeah, hopefully it's open. I don't think it will be. Yeah. We'll show you the water refill point, but we're not going to fill up. Um, yep. We don't need water. We need no. water in Banker Banker. Apparently, it's really good water there. So yeah, so we're going to the dump point and keep driving through. So Tennant Creek is known for a massive gold rush in 1930. Okay. Pretty cool little sign as you drive into town here to park up at. So yeah. so there's some machinery and oh, mining equipment. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. A couple of. Dump point is just behind the G'day Park, but to get here, it is in the showground. So you um, follow the road after the G'day Park, and then you'll come down, and you'll see the um, race tracks and the rodeo and all that there. So Miles can do this today. Hey. 
You have the glorious job today. Someone's put their poop in there. Look at it. Uh, they used the bloody wrong one. Some yeah. people are freaking idiots. <laughs> All right, so last night we just stayed south of Banker Banker. It's about 30 k's, I think, 30 or 40 k's south of Banker Banker at a rest stop called Attack Creek. It's a great spot. Uh, there's large pull-in bays um, all around the campground that you can camp in. I think there was like maybe 30 odd caravans here last night, so plenty of room to pull in. There is bins provided and there's a toilet here. Um, the bins could have used with an empty while we're here. The birds have been getting into them and there's rubbish everywhere, but um, I'm not too sure what's happening there. 24 hour overnight stop and it's a great little spot if you're looking for somewhere near the Banker Banker area. We're off to catch up with our friends in Banker Banker um, but they don't have days off till today and tomorrow so that's why we hung in here last night. Nice little walk up and down the creek. You can see where the flood water come through recently too which is pretty impressive um, with all the debris in the trees. But yeah there's barbecues here as well, uh, firewood pit barbecues and you can have fires on the ground so yeah, it's a nice little spot, uh, free rest area. It's great to see in the NT they have so many of these 24 hour overnight stops in the rest areas and it's great. Uh, hopefully the rest of Australia comes on board and does something similar. All right, we'll take you to Banker Banker guys. Yeah.